Hello. As you may know, a time series is a set of sequential data points often taken at equal points in time for some period of time. It could be every second, every minute, every month, every year. And what this set of data does is create a path or a pattern that is called a time series. In risk analysis, we often want to be able to take a time series and project it into the future. And so this video tutorial will discuss fitting time series to historical data and demonstrate some very unique and useful model risk features. It first suggests that you take a look at the overview of fitting in model risk is another tutorial video which gives a nice context for what we'll be doing here. So what we have, what we'll start with is a set of data. It's really two sets of data, set A and set B. These are, uh, there are 200 data points in this, in these two time series, and we could think of them as stock prices or sales numbers or any kind of value where we measure it at a point in time uh, and then wait a period, measure it again, wait the same amount of time, and so on going forward. So we have 200 data points, and what we'd like to do here is project 20 data points into the future. What we can start with is you can see we have mapped the two uh, sets of data. Data A is in the blue, time series B is in the red, and then we'll add our forecasts onto this graph in dashed colors. There are two kinds of data of uh, uh, time series in model risk. There's univariate time series, which means we're going to fit a time series to a single set of data. In order to do that, we go to the Model Risk tab, the Fit button, we select Univariate Time Series. Similar to distribution fitting, uh, a window comes up with all the possibilities. We'll go ahead and just pick a few rather than pick all of them. Select those and click OK. While model risk is working here for a couple of minutes, time series are very similar to parametric distributions in that there is a set of parameters that define them. And so what model risk has done is calculated the best set of parameters for each of these time series that we've chosen, as well as calculate the goodness of, stif of fit statistics. In this case, we're using information criteria. And so we'll go ahead and choose the one that it's telling us is the best, which is the MA1, or moving average one. What we can see in red is our historical data. In blue is our projected data based on the MA1. If we click the Generate button, what this will do is actually show us another instance of this stochastic time series based on the fit. If we wanted to, we could also show 10 possible paths all at once, and every time we hit generate, it's going to show us 10 new paths. Similar to distributions, we can output both the parameters and an object to represent this time series, but it, for our demonstration here, we're just going to output the actual time series itself. So we select here. Here's the uh, place in our model where we'll put our projection for time series A. Click OK. Click OK again. Now we have this time series in our uh, spreadsheet. If we click F9, we can see that it uh, updates every time we recalculate the spreadsheet. Very quickly, we'll go ahead and fit another univariate time series to series B. Model risk will calculate this quickly for us. Goodness of fit statistics are again telling us that it's uh, the MA1, just for a variety, I think we'll maybe pick the Garch. We can go ahead and hit Generate a few times and see does it make sense, does it look like the forecasted values are continuing the historical values, and in this case it seems to. So we'll go ahead and put this time series here under our univariate for time series B. Click OK. Now we've got these two sets of data for our two different time series. And if we look now at our graph down here, we can see we've got a forecast for each of them. That's the blue dotted line. If I hit recalculate, we can see that it picks a new path or a new future possible path for each of these time series. Now, 
that's all great as long as you assume that these two sets of data were not taken together or that they are in no way related to each other. But if in fact set A and set B are related, you believe that these are these two sets of uh, or pairs of observations were, were always taken together and we have reason to believe that they're somehow related, we need to use a different technique called multivariate time series, which essentially correlates the two time series together. And this is a very unique feature in model risk, multivariate time series, and we don't believe it's available anywhere else, certainly not in an Excel environment. So we select our data under fit. This time we do multivariate time series. I'm going to go ahead and just choose a couple of them because calculating multivariate time series and fitting is very com computationally intensive, and for the sake of time, we'll just choose these two. Again, the fit window looks similar. This is telling us that the multivariate geometric Brownian motion time series is the best fit. So we'll select that one. This time we're going to output it in this area of our model. Again, we're going to get two, the two time series modeled in our spreadsheet. However, this time they are correlated. And you can see here in the time fitting window, if we hit generate, we can see that there certainly historically was a relationship between these two time series, and we're now replicating that in our stochastic time series projecting into the future. Go ahead and click OK. So we now have a time series for data set A, time series for data set B under univariate, in which case these are not correlated, and we have a set of data that are correlated together. If we now look at the results, and I click the F9 key, we can look on the left here. This is the univariate uncorrelated time series. Again, you can see that they don't, they clearly historically have a relationship, but the projection is not taking that into account. If we look at the multivariate time series, we can see that in fact it is. It keeps them very close together, not exactly parallel, because if you look at historically, they weren't perfectly parallel over time. But we've been able to use the historical data not only to cre create the pattern of each individual set of data with the multivariate time series, we've been able to recreate the pattern of correlation between the two. So this is a very powerful tool. Time series data are often useful in risk analysis models in many, many different industries. Being able to fit both univariate and multivariate time series is super useful, and we believe Model Risk has some great tools for you to do that. If you'd like to find out more information about Model Risk, or if you would like to get a free 30-day fully functional trial version, you can go to our website, www.vosesoftware.com. The Vos Software website also has an online version of the help file that comes along with Model Risk, which includes a lot of resources and information regarding risk analysis in general and time series, both univariate and multivariate specifically. And then I would also encourage you to contact our sister company and our main reseller, Vos Consulting, at these numbers here or on the web via www.vosconsulting.com. If you have any technical questions, sales questions, we'd love to hear from you.